What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here, and welcome to our daily show where we discuss the fourth stimulus check update today, 2021, as well as the next two packages, the physical infrastructure package, as well as the next stimulus package that has already been announced called the American Families Plan. In this video, we're going to talk about checks that are going out right now in June, July, and August through all these different stimulus check programs. If you haven't watched our show, you might not know this. If you've been watching our show, you will probably know about a lot of these items we're going to be talking about. There is multiple different stimulus checks and stimulus programs and money coming from the government from the past stimulus packages that have already passed and upcoming stimulus items that literally could put thousands of dollars in your pocket. So yes, uh, when we think about stimulus checks, there's actually dozens of different stimulus programs that could put money in your pocket. And we're going to go over them right now. And it's, what's strange about this is a lot of people do not know about these stimulus programs unless they're watching our show religiously. So we're going to go over them today. I'll show you articles in black and white so you know everything I'm showing you is true. A lot of this stuff is already passed and I'll be letting you know who qualifies for this money. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. It's completely free to do so. So you don't miss out on future stimulus updates. New videos come out on our show every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't miss a show because I don't want you to miss out on one of these stimulus programs that could put money in your pocket. Also, if you can, hit the like button for us down below. It really helps out our channel. Okay, the first set of checks that are going to be going out in June and July, they started in May, but very few people have gotten them so far in May. We're going to be seeing millions of people get these in June. And that is a stimulus provision that was passed from the third stimulus check package and went back and retroactively went back to 2020 and made anybody who had any type of unemployment income... Uh, made it tax-free up to $10,200 of unemployment income would now become tax-free. So if you made $1,000 in unemployment income last year, that's $1,000 of income that should be tax-free. And any money that you paid on that is going to get reimbursed to you via a check. If you made $15,000 in unemployment income last year, $10,200 of that is now becoming tax-free. You likely already paid taxes on that, and now the IRS owes you money. This was passed from the third stimulus check package. It's one of these little unknown stimulus provisions that has already been passed. So the IRS started to send out some of these refund checks or stimulus checks. The average person will get about $1,000 by, again, making $10,000 uh, of income not taxable. So you're going to receive about, on average, a $1,000 stimulus check uh, in kind of a refund here. Um, you could receive more if your tax bracket's 25%, you could receive up to $2,500. Um, could be more, could be less based on your tax bracket. Now they started sending these out in May, as you can see here, but they only went out to a few people and they started with stimulus checks uh, going to single filers. They did the single filer tax returns first because they're quicker and easier, but Let's be honest, the IRS is very far behind. I have literally hundreds or thousands of comments of people that have said they've been waiting two or three months for their tax returns. So uh, not very many people have gotten this yet. Some people have. I've definitely seen some comments. But a lot more people are going to be getting them in June. And hopefully we'll be seeing the married filing jointly people also get them in June, if not July. So those will be the first set of checks that are going out in June. By the way, I've seen two different figures on this. Uh, this article from Forbes says over 7 million people will receive this uh, unemployment tax break refund. And uh, I've seen another article that said up to 10 million people. So somewhere between 7 and 10 million people are going to be receiving this extra stimulus check passed from the third stimulus check package. Next up is what is called the child tax credits. This is already passed as well from the third stimulus check package and is going to pay monthly stimulus checks. Again, this is a stimulus provision passed from the third stimulus check package. Uh, it, the IRS is going to start sending out monthly stimulus checks on July 15th of $300 per child under the age of six 
and $250 per child for children ages 6 through 17. This is a total of $3,600 for children under the age of 6 and uh, $3,000 for children ages 6 through 17. President Biden and the Democrats also want to extend this credit until 2025, which would mean these monthly stimulus checks could go on for years. As you can see here, literally, if President Biden's proposal is enacted, possibly in this fourth stimulus check package, eligible families could receive monthly payments for literally years. Now, as I said, this $250 to $300 per month per child is going to start going out in July. The first half of the year that you didn't get, January through June, um, you're going to receive on this year's tax return, 2021 tax return that you'll file next year, you're going to be receiving a one lump sum for that first six months of the year. So $1,500 for children ages 6 through 17 and $1,800 for children under the age of 6 as a one lump sum. The IRS is setting up what they're calling a portal right now that they're supposed to have done around July 1st. I'll keep you up to date with all these details as they come in. Uh, but they're setting up an online website where you can log in to give your payment information to the IRS. You can change your payment information. Uh, you can tell them about a new child. You can opt out of these monthly payments if you don't want them, if you just want to get them as a one lump sum on your tax returns. Uh, again, it's $3,000 per child ages 6 through 17 in monthly payments of $250 per month that could continue on into next year and next year and next year if they pass this for at least four more years, which is likely going to happen in this next stimulus package that they're already negotiating on. And $300 per child for children under the age of six. This is a form of government child support or universal basic income, whatever you want to call it, um, this is happening. It's already passed for 2021. Uh, it's already passed for one year. They want to extend this for at least four more years as one of the different, there's about 15 different stimulus items that they're negotiating on right now for the next stimulus package what we're calling the forced stimulus check package. There's literally dozens of Democrats that are pushing for a fourth stimulus check. So this is separate from the child tax credits or any of these other stimulus programs that we're going to be talking about. If you got the third stimulus check, you're likely going to get the fourth stimulus check because... The Democrats passed the third stimulus check package completely on their own, which I see in a recent poll, and it said up to, I think it was 40% of rural voters don't even know this, that not a single Republican voted yes for the third stimulus check package, and the Democrats passed it completely on their own with the reconciliation card, and it's likely they're going to do the same with this next stimulus package, which means the Democrats can put anything they want in this next package, which is what they did with the third stimulus check package, making it the largest checks yet to date, $1,400 for adults, $1,400 for children, which was more than double than we had seen before, and $1,400 for adult dependents, which didn't even get stimulus checks before. And we have these now child tax credits that have been an increase to $3,000 to $3,600 and are going to start monthly payments to pay these out in July. So um, the third stimulus check package was the largest yet to date when it comes to checks for Americans, and we'll likely see that continue in the fourth stimulus check package. As more and more Democrats come on board for more stimulus checks, um, more payments, and um, we have over 80 different lawmakers in the U.S. House of Representatives, all Democrats, that want to continue further stimulus payments to Americans. In fact, we have over half of the Senate, 28 different Democratic Senate lawmakers, I should say half of the Senate Democrats, um, want to include actually monthly recurring checks in the next stimulus package, or possibly even President Biden's infrastructure package. This includes Senator Bernie Sanders, who is the Senate budget chairman, and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, both want monthly recurring stimulus checks to be in this next package, not just a single stimulus check. In fact, we have an actual bill introduced in the Senate by co-sponsored by Senator Ed Markey and Elizabeth Warren, that is exactly what those Democrats are in favor of, which is a $2,000 monthly stimulus check that would go until the pandemic is declared over. So it could be six months of checks, could be a little more, could be a little less. 
Uh, but it's $2,000 per month stimulus checks until the pandemic is declared over. We have another bill from Democratic Representative Rashida Tlaib and Representative Jayapal, who is the leader of the Democratic Progressive Caucus, which is about half of all Democrats in the United uh, in the U.S. House of Representatives. Their plan is for a two thousand dollar monthly stimulus check, then followed by one thousand dollar monthly recurring payments that would actually go until one year after the pandemic is declared over. So again, a $2,000 payment followed by $1,000 monthly recurring payments that would go until the pandemic is declared over and then one year after. So a minimum of 12 $1,000 stimulus checks. Now, if you think this is far-fetched, remember what we just talked about. The Democrats just passed monthly stimulus checks in the form of $250 to $300 Per month, per child, of course, the checks go to the parent who claims them as a dependent on a tax return. But monthly stimulus checks are already happening, or at least will be starting on July 15th, with these what they call child tax credits. A stimulus check is actually a tax credit as well. They're both actually considered advanced refundable tax credits. Um, child tax credit is just kind of the name that stuck for this one. And stimulus checks is just kind of the name that stuck for this regular old stimulus check that you think about. Um, these are separate. The four stimulus check proposals are for everybody that qualified for the third stimulus check, which is about 85 to 88% of Americans, not just for people with children. The child tax credit is for people with children. There's also an adult tax credit for people without children, that I will link you to at the end of this video. You can actually get up to $6,600 and as an adult tax credit, which is kind of the mirror opposite of the child tax credit. Now, weekly stimulus check bonuses, the $300 per week unemployment bonus that was passed in the second and third stimulus check package, will continue until September except for the 24 states that are going to end unemployment bonuses uh, in June, which is uh, all Republican governors have opted out of the $300 per week unemployment bonus. So those weekly bonus payments will not continue for 24 states. However, we're seeing more and more states uh, from these Republican governor-run states that are offering back-to-work bonuses to uh, lure Americans back to the work workforce. We're seeing multiple different states offer back-to-work bonuses, anywhere from $500 up to $2,000. States that are offering a back-to-work bonuses or considering it is uh, North Carolina. Their Republicans in their state Senate are pitching a $1,500 back-to-work bonus. New Hampshire is offering a $500 back-to-work bonus for uh, people that go back to work part-time and $1,000 bonuses for people that go back to work full-time, Connecticut is offering $1,000 back-to-work bonuses, as well as Oklahoma offering $1,200 back-to-work bonuses and Montana also offering $1,200 back-to-work bonuses, as well as Colorado with a $1,600 back-to-work bonus and Arizona that is offering a $1,000 back-to-work bonus for people that go back to work part-time or go to work part-time or $2,000 bonuses if you go back to work and get a full-time job. We also have a proposal in the Senate from the Republicans in the Senate that are offering a back-to-work bonus if passed. This bill is not passed yet, but this would be nationwide that would offer up to $2,500 back-to-work bonuses nationwide if passed. If this passes or if this gets closed, I will keep you updated here on the channel. Now, there are also multiple different states that are offering stimulus checks uh, like California that is offering a $600 stimulus check, now up to two-thirds of all Californians. This will be the second round of their state stimulus check for $600. The second round will go up to people making up to $75,000 in California. You have to file a tax return to claim this money, and it's actually an additional $500 for children, making it a total of $1,100 stimulus check if you have children uh, from California. I just did a recent video where I talk about all the different states that have the uh, state stimulus checks 
county stimulus checks and um, city stimulus checks. And I'll link you to that video here in a moment. The reason for that is, is because there is actually $350 billion from the third stimulus check package that is going to states and cities right now. And they have to use a portion of this money for programs like state stimulus checks, mortgage assistance, rental assistance, property tax assistance, utility assistance, and stimulus programs that could put money in your pocket. All 50 states are getting money, including all counties and cities are getting money as well. And they all get to determine where they're going to spend their money. And they have to spend a portion of it on stimulus programs that will put money back in their pockets of their residences. So we're going to be seeing a lot more of these state stimulus checks here in the near future. We have mortgage assistance and rental assistance going on right now that I've covered in, uh, I cover in several different videos here in the past on this channel, which is why it's important you don't want to miss out on these different stimulus check programs. Like this other one that recently came out, which is the Emergency Broadband Benefit Program, which will literally give you $50 off your internet or your broadband service, as you can see here, per month or $75 per month off your tri if your, uh, your internet bill if you're on a tribal land as well as a one-time discount of $100 off for a laptop, tablet, or a desktop computer. This was a um, stimulus provision passed from the second stimulus check package that is now becoming available. We have literally had thousands of people get this $50 off per month their internet bill. If you want to go and apply for this, it's the website is Get emergencybroadband.org. Get emergencybroadband.org. Go to it and you can literally apply right now. I've literally seen hundreds of people say they got apply approved right away or within a couple days they got approved and um, they're going to be saving $50 off their internet bill paid for by the government. Also, hopefully we will see a fourth stimulus check in the month of June or maybe July. I really can't give you a date yet because I, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to be voting on this in the next week or two. Um, it's really hard to say, right? So that is kind of what we cover here on the channel. The developments going on with the fourth stimulus check, the fourth stimulus check package, increases to Social Security, increases to Medicare. Uh, yeah, there, there's all sorts of different proposals going on right now. We have some major news about Social Security increases that we've covered here recently on the channel. I cover all these different things, the programs that could put money in your pocket and keep you up to date on what is going on. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below and click the bell icon after subscribing to all notifications to get reminder notifications when we go live with new videos, which is every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There's also a share button down below that you can click on that to share this video with your friends and family so that they know about these programs as well so that they can keep up to date with all these different stimulus check programs. There's actually a lot more. We just really can't fit it into one video and I'll be keeping you up to date on all these. Okay, click this top video here to watch the states that are passing state stimulus checks. Click this bottom video to earn, learn about the $6,000 adult tax credit. And click this video here to watch my newest video on President Biden's proposed Social Security increase of $1,341 per month. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks, guys, and I will see you in the next video.